Hello everyone. You may have heard these quotes before. One morning I shot an elephant in my pajamas. How he got in my pajamas I will never know. Some people claim that marriage interferes with romance. There is no doubt about it. Any time you have a romance your wife is bound to interfere. Only one man in a thousand is a leader of men. The other 999 follow women. Friends, these are humorous quotes attributed to Groucho Marx, an American comedian and film actor who died in 1977. Most of his quotes probably sound weird and confusing, but in the end they all begin to make some sense. Similarly, St. Paul's letters contain many complex passages that are very hard to understand and to interpret. Many of us are incapable of fully understanding the depth of Paul's thoughts and faith in Jesus Christ. And because of difficulties, some people tend to ignore his writings. But all his writings hold powerful messages. His letter to the Ephesians is generally acknowledged to be one of the richest and most profound in the New Testament. Today, we read one such text from his letter to the Ephesians, chapter 1, verses 3 to 14. Bible scholars say that the text, in fact, was one long sentence in the original Greek text of the Bible but the translators have split it into smaller phrases so that they could be more easily understood. And yet some of us may still find it quite complex. Friends, from the Old Testament times, God has made available to all humankind a wealth of blessings. The Bible teaches us that we receive two types of blessings from the Lord, temporal and spiritual. What are the temporal blessings? Psalm chapter 37 verse 25 reads, I was young and now I am old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread. In Psalm chapter 34 verses 9 to 10 we read, Fear the Lord, you his holy people, for those who fear him lack nothing. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. The book of Exodus, chapter 23, verse 25 says, But you shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water, and I will remove sickness from your midst. From the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5, verse 33, we hear, you shall walk in all the way which the Lord your God has commanded you, that you may live, and that it may be well with you, and that you may prolong your days in the land which you will possess. It is written in the second book of Chronicles, chapter 1, verse 12, Wisdom and knowledge have been granted to you, and I will give you riches and wealth and honor such as none of the kings who were before you has possessed, nor those who will come after you. In Luke's Gospel of the New Testament, chapter 12, verse 22, Jesus said to his disciples, For this reason I say to you, do not worry about your life as to what you will eat, nor for your body as to what you will put on. St. Paul in his second letter to the Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8 tells, God is perfectly able to enrich you with every grace so that you always have enough for every conceivable need and your resources overflow in all kinds of good work. Friends, from these passages of the Bible we learn that food, water, good health, land, wealth, honor, knowledge, wisdom, possessions and many other good things are the temporal blessings from God. What are the spiritual blessings? According to Paul, every spiritual blessing is in Christ. There are no spiritual blessings outside of Christ. In his letter to the Ephesians, Paul 
puts down many of these spiritual blessings. 1. He says, In Christ we are the chosen people. Yes, God in His sovereign grace has chosen us to be His believers among millions of people. 2. He says, In Christ we have become adopted children. Yes, yes, as Christians, we are legally adopted sons and, and daughters of God's family. 3. He says, In Christ, we have redemption by His blood and the forgiveness of transgressions. Yes, we are slaves to sin and condemned to eternal separation from God, but Jesus paid the price to redeem us from slavery to sin and eternal consequences of sin. That is to say, through redemption, we are forgiven and reconciled with God. 4. He says, In Christ we are blessed with the knowledge of the mystery of His will. Yes, God has made known to us the mystery of His will which was in Him from the very beginning. 5. He says, In Christ we are chosen to accomplish God's purpose according to His will. Yes, God has made us partners in the plan of salvation. 6. He says, In Christ we are given the gift of the Holy Spirit. 7. He says, In Christ we are blessed with inheritance. Yes, our inheritance is the gift of salvation waiting for us in heaven. As God's adopted children, we have been assured an inheritance from our Heavenly Father. Friends, spiritual blessings are far more valuable than the temporal or material ones. These blessings are the key benefits of your relationship with God through Jesus Christ. These blessings are for inner peace, happiness and strength. They are perfect and eternal. Moreover, these blessings are readily accessible to everyone who is in Christ Jesus. The way to be in Christ is to repent or to turn away from our sin. Friends, what is the message for us? This passage from Ephesians reminds us of God's determination to bless humanity through His Son Jesus Christ, who represents all humanity. And we are given our entire lifetime to gratefully recognize both the temporal and spiritual blessings, use them wisely and more importantly pass them on to others in a manner that makes the whole life meaningful, fruitful and purposeful. But sadly, many of us either choose to ignore or squander or fail to pass on the blessings, particularly the spiritual blessings. St. Paul recognized and acknowledged the goodness and relentless love of God toward humanity and therefore could proclaim with great joy, Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, he praised God who chose to bless us in Christ both with the temporal and spiritual gifts. Friends, as believers in Jesus Christ, God has blessed us with the spiritual blessings that are worth far more than anything in this material world. We have done nothing with our strength to get these spiritual blessings, for they are given to us because of what Christ did on the cross. Furthermore, these spiritual blessings will never pass away. Therefore, let us always thank and praise God for these blessings. And let us take advantage of these blessings and access them on a daily basis and pass on them to our children, friends and others for His glory. Amen. God bless you.